Right now on KSET.com, it is June and those temperatures are staying up there. And if you're trying to get out of the house, there's plenty to do around town. And that includes a couple of new exhibits at the Witty. There's also the Juneteenth Family Festival and the Bud Light Pride River Parade. To see a list of all the events happening this month, go to KSAT.com. All right, I want to show you the radar real quickly because we've got a pop-up storm. We are seeing a lightning strike or two associated with this. Uh, just south and west of New Braunfels, right along I-35. It looks a little distorted because it's right by the radar site. But as we zoom in, right there along I-35, uh, again, just south and southwest of New Braunfels, in between New Braunfels and San Antonio. We'll see a few more pop-ups like this throughout the afternoon. You can check the KSAT weather app for the latest on the radar. We'll keep you posted there, too. Otherwise, after today, it's all about the heat. Triple digits much next week, guys. Smooth sailing into those triple digits. Thank you. I always find it interesting. The magician on there will, will take Mike's dollar bill and turn it into something really nice mm -hmm. and then turn it back to the dollar. <laughs> back to Mike. They didn't get to keep the nice thing they made. Well, can you imagine if he had a $20 bill Ooh. in his pocket? Be a $20 coin? I don't know. It'd be nice. Make some money off of this deal. Come on, Mike. Work on that. Yeah. SA There's Live. an angle to this. Yes. SA Live <laughs> starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from Historic Market Square, this is SA Live. A couple of students just graduated from CAS, the STEM program there, just this morning. Just this morning, yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> I heard them when they were cheering, when they saw each other saw right them out there here. taking pictures oh, and everything, too. Wow. And, and all the graduates, again, congratulations. So they were talking about having a 20 in my pocket, by the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know when the last time that was. Yeah, anyway. You usually have 50s and 100s. Stop it. Yeah, right. Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> I'm Mike Oster Age. And I'm Fiona Gorstiza. Okay, so, of course, Top Gun Great came movie. out. Great I know, movie. I know. You haven't seen it yet. Have you? Oh, yes, I have. I'm oh, the one did. who told you. That's right. I saw it. Have you seen it? Never mind. Hi. It's only Good an hour it. show. We're back. But anyway, we both saw it. We both really liked it. So that got us thinking what would our call sign be? Like, what would your Top Gun name Forgetful be? Forgetful for me right now. Apparently, I <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, apparently, yes. So, um, you know, obviously for you, I mean, I think Silver Fox, right? Oh, yes. can't we really? Yes. More? <laughs> Yes, I mean, that's a absolutely true, okay? You are our silver fox on the show. Um, or you could be your other name, Facebook. <laughs> and for those who don't remember why this really? would be his Bring other name, again? here's why. <laughs> Yeah, you know, every chance we can get to play this, you think we're not? <laughs> you have to start carrying your phone around and videotaping us. <laughs> uh, oh, this is just, I could watch this. Uh, all right, okay, we'll it's move It's only an on. hour show, okay, so, not the Facebook. Anyway, I'd be, you know, Fearless Fiona because I got to pick my name. And you, were, you weren't there, you weren't there when we were making these this morning, okay? Um, or, um, you know, this is kind of more accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Big thanks to Ted for getting that made this Mine morning on Photoshop. Mine would be up with them, so. <laughs> All right, it is the first weekend. Wait, wait, oh, you gotta sorry. tell, hold on. Okay. All right, so we want to know, of course, what's your call sign? There is the website, of course, uh, uh, that you can go to. That's going to be linked. Is that linked? It's what's your call sign. It's yeah. what's your call sign. Okay, just Google that, <laughs> and, then, and that will be there. There's a link. Yes, the voice in my head said yes. There's a link on our as seen on uh, on SA Live. Now can I go here? Yes, now it's your turn. It's the first weekend of summer for a lot of families, so how about kicking off with something really exciting? Our first guest has amazed people around the world, even fooled some of the most famous magicians, and he's only in the Alamo City for this weekend, but right now he's giving us a sneak peek at his performance. Yes, magician Francis Minotti is here, of course, to kind of amaze us, right? What as you, you as expected. Sign? Magic man? <laughs> Magic what? man. At this point, the delusionist right now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right, you got a trick for us. I do, off, right? absolutely. Uh, no, well, so magic is obviously it's illusion, right? Mm -hmm. and, and it's based on our imagination. Do you both have a, have a pretty good imagination? I, I think, think so. so. Okay, okay. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, uh, we'll go with both of you. Let's, uh, Mike, we'll start with you. But I, this is not a full pack of cards. You can tell there's a lot of reasons for that. Okay. Um, but uh, the reason is every time I do this trick, I give a card away at the end. So go ahead and pick one out. Maybe one that has a, a you know, write on it. Yeah, that's okay. perfect. Great. Now go ahead and take it out. I can You'll notice it. there's actually a couple of fours of spades there. Uh, the reason is it's from old junkie decks. You're going to mark this so it's the only one like it in the world. Okay. So go ahead and write your name right across the face there, big bold letters. And that way you know it's the only one like it in the world, right? Good spelling. Fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> you. 
I can. I am appreciating. Not the best penmanship <laughs> in the world, but hey, what the heck? I also so. have to call back to that little surfing thing. Was he falling off the? You know, surfing. <laughs> is that what it was? Surfing. Is that, I um, have never wakeboarded before. I, I can't do it either. I'm good I, with my I, hands. I can't do the balance. Don't no. forget that. I'm surprised I'm not falling over right now. So, but, but, uh, Fiona, let's yes. try this with uh, yes. Mike's card here. We're gonna we use your imagination first. Okay. And imagine if I put the card on the table, okay. and then imagine it sort of rising up to uh, the top. No Can you way. imagine that? Oh my God! <laughs> oh, it worked for you. It worked. It that's, sure. that's good. That's good. I that's a good. I mean, you have a good imagination. So so, uh, well, let's let's do this again. Then, Mike, I'll, same thing for you. Instead okay. of on the bottom, we'll put it back about halfway down in the middle, like that, and imagine it sort of rising to the top. Did that? Did, oh. did it looked it looked good to you, and it, it looked good to you as well. Okay, good. So, well, let's try. I'll have it a little bit differently. Why don't you take the card yourself? So, you take. Are you right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. I take the card in your right hand. Okay. And then the deck in your left hand, and then go and slide the card back in the middle wherever you want. Just, just anywhere like yeah, that. Yeah, that's fine. You're you're doing all the. And then do some whatever you think a magician does. Wiggle your fingers over. Yeah, and imagine it rising up to the top. How'd you do? Turn you're it over. natural. That's. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Do that. Wait, it irritates wait, me too. Them, no, it was, right there. There. That no, was there. It's, it's disappeared. <laughs> How? Well, that's, I, it, I know it's inferior. Let's, let's, let's finish this one once and for and all. You did so, it. I know. <laughs> Fiona, you're going to do okay. this one. Oh, so boy, just to right. finish this part okay. once and for all, what's going to happen? Uh, Fiona, actually, we'll take uh, Mike's card okay. and uh, go ahead and take it in your hand for me, please. Uh, what I'm going to have you do is we'll have you put it about. Or just say stop for me anyway. Stop. Good. Well, uh, okay. I'll take the card and I'll put it exactly where you said. So it's not going on the top or the bottom. It's actually going in the middle this time, uh -huh. right? Back here, all the way inside. Uh -huh. In fact, back inside the box as well. Now, Fiona, what I need <laughs> no you to way. do for just no a moment, uh -huh. hold the deck for me, just okay. nice and tight with just one hand. You got it, nice uh -huh. and tight. Yep. All right. Now use your imagination and imagine for the first time in your life you have an invisible friend, or, or for the first time, admit it. That's right. Give me the number of my therapist after okay. this. Yeah. <laughs> now imagine the invisible friend for real. Imagine you have to commit to this. Imagine the invisible friend is standing right here between you and me, and imagine them reaching in and pulling one card out. Preferably Mike's, but just imagine okay. what it would look like okay. for their invisible fingers to grab uh -huh. it. Relax a little bit. Open your. That's good. Just imagine the card being. Oh, that's that's really good. What, Mike, reach across. Uh, go ahead and grab look it. Look at grab your it, face. It. I know. Go ahead. Go ahead. Touch it. Did it. Yeah, yeah. Take it out. <laughs> Mike, dump the rest of the cards out. You want to make sure there are no strings or any riders, anything, magnets, anything in there. That's just a pack there. of cards and a really good imagination. Both. Oh my God. You fool, Penn and Teller. I did. Yes, tell did. us about that. Uh, so it's a, I'm sure you've seen the show at some point. It's mm -hmm. Penn and Teller mm -hmm. fool us. Uh, it's a, the object of the game is to fool these two top-notch, uh, brilliant magicians out in Vegas. Uh, first off, if you have a, if you get a chance to see their show, go and see it. Right now they're in Australia, so you won't catch them there. Okay. But, uh, but it's a great show. The show, the TV show, the focus is. While it's supposedly you're supposed to go on and fool Penn and Teller, the real focus, and they, they kind of don't tell you this up front, is they want to feature as much good, diverse, interesting magic as they can on television to show that it's not just pulling rabbits out of a hat or sawing a person in half, right? So they bring magicians from all over the world and put them on. I, was, I had the opportunity to be on the first U.S. season. It started in the U.K. They brought it to the U.S. in 2015. I was invited to be on, and I did a trick that involves some Scrabble tiles and a word and I am doing that in the shows this weekend. I was going to say, so yeah, yeah. yeah. so go to the shows this weekend. All right, let's get that information in In up. fact, if you want to watch the Fool Us thing and see it and then watch it in person, you can say, maybe I can figure it out. Oh, that would be cool to right? do. Yeah. Mike's going to be there. I know. I know. <laughs> you, know, you can catch Magician Francis <laughs> Minotti this weekend at the Magician Agency Theater. The show starts at 7 p.m. tonight and tomorrow. And at 2 p.m. on Sunday, you can get tickets online. For a link, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. I don't know which amazed me more, when the thing was in my hands or when it came up out of it. Yeah. So. I think it was when you did it. Mm -hmm. All right, after that, if you're looking for some time to self-care this summer, why not bring some zen-like serenity into your home? Yes, okay, and who says you can't bring the spa into your happy space? Our Jen Tobias Dresky gets some easy tips from a local designer. those vacation vibes into your home, it can be done. On today's Happy Space, we visit with interior designer Cami Malaga, and she's going to share how you can bring the spa into your home. My name is Cami Malaga. I'm the principal designer and owner at CM Interiors, and I've been interior decorating and designing for about five years now. I'd love for you to check out my style, my work, at cm.interiors on Instagram, 
or you can visit my website at CamiMalagaInteriors.com. And here we are in Cami's beautiful bathroom. Thank you for having us. It's so cozy in here. Thank you for being here. So I'm really excited about bringing the spa home and you have some great ideas for our viewers today on how they can make it feel more like a spa in their own home. It sounds amazing. So what are we starting with, Cami? All right, well, nothing shouts spa like fresh, fluffy white towels. And um, these occasionally will go on sale actually annually at Costco for under $5. So what I do is buy three or four and replace the, the old ones and um, yeah, stock up on these. Let me, I have to feel that. Oh yeah, yeah. those Isn't are great? really soft. Yes, that and very Costco. absorbent. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, very nice. And yeah. what is it about the white color, would you say? That you know, it's just, it's clean and it's simple and it's fresh and it's, uh, it, it just, it's peaceful really, yes. which is what we're doing. Yeah, exactly. I love how these are displayed. This is part of also, right, making it feel more like a spot. Absolutely. Absolutely. Take some glass jars, canisters, whatever you have. I got these at, at Home Goods for less than ten dollars. Um, these are things that we use every day, really. So um, keep them out. Keep them out. And, and I like it's not like toothpaste. It's red or blue. Yes. It's clean and it's white and it it says spa. Again, we're so. consistent with the clean and white that we have going. Yes, here. absolutely. And you can't have that spa vibe without the robes, right? No, you sure can't. <laughs> Never been to a spa without a robe before. So I've got this robe and it's it's so plush and comfortable and it's just so luxurious to get in after a shower or a bath. Um, I change it out seasonally, so when it's warmer, I have a little bit of a shorter one and, and less heavy, but I love it. I love how easy it is too to access here with your Yes, shower. right? Right out <laughs> of nice. the shower, that's right. Very nice. <laughs> and, and the rug and also the artwork is something to keep in mind as well. Yes, it is. It, it, you know, it's unexpected. You wouldn't find a, a nice a rug that you would see maybe downstairs or in a more populated area, a living room or something. Um, but bring it into a bathroom, especially when you've got mostly neutral colors. It's fun to add some color and some artwork that you wouldn't expect to see also in a bathroom. I can't help but notice this gorgeous shower oh, behind you. you. Yes. Um, and let's talk about what you have going there to make it feel more like a spa. Okay, okay. Fresh greens, eucalyptus. You turn that hot water on and that eucalyptus just starts to smell beautifully. And, um, and you can and it just looks hang pretty. it like that? Yes, absolutely. I got these local, just at a florist, and wrap some twine around there, hang it from your shower head, and call it good. It looks beautiful, too. And it lasts for weeks, really. And what an easy so. way to bring the spa home. I yeah. love it. Okay, so many people use essential oils, but you shared a great tip on how you can utilize them along with the eucalyptus and everything in the shower. Yes, absolutely. And I just kind of started doing this, and I can't believe how amazing it is. I just sprinkle a few drops on the shower floor, and again, that starts to heat up, and it's like a whole aromatherapy experience. All the different oils and just put them on the floor. I've never tried that. Great tip. I also like what you told me earlier about adding a furniture piece if you need more storage. Yes, yeah, a lot of people do, and it's another way of just bringing, kind of elevating your space. Mm -hmm. um, I bought a piece of furniture off of Craigslist and stripped it down, and I now use it to display pretty perfumes and other storage things in, on the, in the drawers. And we also, we talk about the oils, the eucalyptus, but also the scent of candles, right? Yes. Let's talk about how that helps add to it. Okay, it just creates such a great ambiance, right? It's just the low light, um, it's calming, and as a bonus, it smells delicious. Yes. Um, and I like to do that at night, just to kind of de-stress a little bit, spend five minutes even, just mm -hmm while I'm getting ready for bed, and then maybe transition from here into my bedroom and listen to some soft music and some meditation music and just relax. We, we know we need that these yes. days, right? She does a great job, as you can see here. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Cami, and uh, I hope you can have a spa at home with all of these great tips. Thank yes. you, Cami. Thank you. Okay, the tile in the shower is cool. Yeah, you like that's the tub? pretty cool. Uh, that tub, look at that tub. Yeah, and those mm. big windows and everything. Yeah. Oh, okay, for more on Happy Space uh, inspiration, <laughs> head over to SALive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab or just scan the QR code right there on the bottom of your screen. Lose yourself in the ultimate immersive art experience. We take you to an exhibit that makes you feel like you are in the art. But first, the name will catch your attention, but the food will keep you coming back for a whole lot more. We try the signature taco from a local food truck and find out how it got its spooky name next on SA Live. Welcome to White Hands. 
case this. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, after some tough times, the local family worked together to bounce back and a popular food truck. Now they're bringing their own flavors. I'm going to make that plural because there's a lot of them going on here back to the Alamo City. Flavors on top of flavors on top of flavors on top of flavors. And Paul Morales, owner and operator of Tacos Cucuy, is here to show us their signature dish and why they aren't your average food truck. And it starts kind of right over here, right? Right, right. What's he got going on? So basically, well, we pretty much did all the heavy lifting with that pork belly. Okay. That, it actually takes four days to cook that. I cure it for three days mm -hmm. to give it some good flavor on the inside. And then we sous vide cook it for 24 hours at 154 degrees so we get the perfect texture and the perfect doneness. And then just sear it on top. Yeah, and then this, we just sear it. Yep. And then this goes on tortillas that you also make, right? Right, yes. I, when I started my food truck, you know, I was looking for sourcing some good tortillas and I couldn't find any that I liked that I had fell in love with back in Los Angeles. So I ended up starting, out of necessity, I started a tortilla company mm -hmm. uh, using the heirloom grains that I got used to. Okay. And these smell amazing. Yeah, these are very floral, especially the pink one there. Uh -huh. That's a zocoyo. It's a... Oh. It's from Oaxaca. It's very good. I mean, I could eat it just like yeah, this. Yeah, just a little bit of butter and some lime. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. And even the beans are special too, right? Yeah, the beans are non-GMO. They're also grown in the same place where the corn is. Mm -hmm. so you have the, back there in, in the Mexico, they have the Milpa mm -hmm. Society where they, they grow squash, corn, and beans together because it regenerates the, the soil. Okay. So I like whatever they're grown in nature, I like to serve them in nature. Same thing with the sauces and stuff like that. I don't think I've ever had a taco with just a just huge hunk of pork belly <laughs> on it like that. That's, that is my luxurious taco there. That's uh, You know, I try to balance between healthiness and then that one right there is just a flavor bomb. But mm -hmm. that in itself, you said, is just too rich. So there's yeah. got to be something to kind of ease it up a little bit, right. right? With something like that, we need to add some acid to it just to kind of level Break it, it out. out yeah, yeah because it if not it's just going to be like unctuousness on top of unctuousness so that so there we have some saffron habanero mm -hmm. uh pickled onions we yeah. have some pickled nopales which is cactus okay and then just some regular cilantro for the brightness and the urban herb, herb, herbacity of it uh, i like making up words too so now too. you're gonna you're gonna taste that right oh, and we yes. are going to make what so over here we have the healthy version of that. It. Oh, sorry. Right. So this is basically uh, the vegetarian version of that. So we're going to take a little bit of beets. And do beets got kind of not get the credit they deserve? Yeah, no, I mean, they're super healthy. They have anything that's that color, red mm -hmm. in nature, is going to be good for you. Uh, basically, they're very earthy, but they're healthy and they're almost sweet when you, when you hit them here. So basically, we're going to just saute them, mm -hmm. get them some nice color on them. And, and then, then we have this sauce. You want to do it? Yep, here we go. How much? Oh my goodness, that is yeah, yeah, just about that it. much. Yep. Okay. And then what you got to do is just grab it and just kind of shake it around. And you want to sauce it. Make sure it gets all up in there. Kind of. You know what's oh, great? I don't know if you want to do that. What's great they about this is. They might not end up back in the pan. I'm you just can taste not only the pork belly, not only beans, but also, like you said, the tortilla. The tortilla. And all these different flavors coming together mm -hmm. in your mouth. Oh, okay. that's delicious. Yep. Ooh, look mm. at that. Mm. Okay. Awesome. All right. So then now right. what do we do? So now what you want to do is you want to, so here we have some local bean sprouts, radish sprouts from San Antonio Microgreens. I try to get as local as I can. We have some edible flowers in there for, for color and for also for freshness. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to add a little bit of that cilantro oil. Okay, we've got about 30 seconds left. And then some balsamic vinegar, yes. which has been smoked, mesquite smoked balsamic. So we're kind of making some uh, vinaigrette in the pan. Okay. And just kind of toss that in there with your fingers okay. and just get it people, in there. Where can people find you? We can, you can find me at the Chef's Cooperative over off of 11911 okay. Crosswinds Way. Okay. And then because the beets are soft, we want to add some crunch S Some too, texture, right? yeah. So we're going to add the salad on there. Okay to get a little bit of brightness and then we're going to hit it with some some fried corn kind of basically fancy corn nuts okay okay and well then, while they're finishing that up if you want to try tacos kukui they will be at the awkward prom next thursday june 9th at hopscotch and for more information on tacos kukui go to our website salive.com and click on the as seen on sa live tab all right still ahead creating leaders through rock music. We learn about this fun program for young San Antonio ladies and the big event happening this weekend.
Coming up on SA Live, great works of art that you will see in a whole new way. We take you inside immersive Van Gogh. It's a perfect date night, night out with friends or the family, and a great way to see great works of art in a whole new way. And joining me right now is Lighthouse Immersive Representative Nick Harkin to talk about this mesmerizing interactive art experience. This is so incredibly Isn't cool. It great? Okay. It's pretty good, huh? Y'all, I got a sneak peek just a few minutes ago, and it is, I mean, mesmerizing is an understatement, okay? Tell folks what they can expect. What we have done is we've taken hundreds of images of Vincent van Gogh's 900 paintings, and we have used them almost the way that a jazz musician might take a classic song and make it their own. So it's an entirely new way of encountering Vincent van Gogh's art like you've never seen before. So we've blown them up 15, 20 feet tall. We've taken them apart. The stars in the starry night twinkle. The sunflowers bloom before your eyes. You see the pig figures that in an actual painting might only be an inch or two tall and they are life size. So you're looking these great peaceful. People tell us that it's as though you are inside a Vincent van Gogh painting. And with not only the visual that they're seeing, there is the sound, oh, right? Yes. And tell me how that adds to the experience. Well, our Italian creative team, who's been working on this for decades and really have perfected this art form, they work together. Massimiliano Sicardi creates the images, and then Luca Longobardi, our composer, takes beautiful music, some of it's classical, some of it's contemporary, some of it's jazz, and they really set the tone of what you're seeing with this gorgeous score that will really make you feel the art. You know, and not only feel the art, I mean, you kind of feel the mood he may have been in, you know, watching certain pieces, you know, kind of come about, right? It's clear that he uh, had a lot of strong emotions. Mm -hmm. And then there's bright pieces that you can see his joy. And then there might be an image that's a little more cloudy and you might see something that might feel that maybe he, this was not such a good day for him. And then of course there is the starry night, which he considered to be a failure of a painting. Which is, I mean, perhaps one of the most famous pieces. Exactly. <laughs> and it's so romantic. I love that. Okay. And of course, great for couples, great for friends, great for families. I mean, kids can enjoy this too, right? This is absolutely a great way to introduce a child to art. An experience where you feel like you need to stay static. You can move around. I see children dancing. I see other people meditating. You know, people react to it in different ways, but it's really something that everybody in the family can enjoy. You know, I think that this is a great way for people to really whet their appetite and grow their appreciation of wonderful art, just like you have here in San Antonio. That's why we chose this city. We know there's a great arts community here and that people really appreciate it and that's why we're excited to be here. All right, tell folks how they can come check it out. Yeah, come over to our new Lighthouse Art Space San Antonio. Mm -hmm. Just visit um, immersivevangogh.com, buy your tickets and we really run from 10 in the morning till almost 10 at night. Bring the family, bring a date, bring your grandmother. I'm sure everybody will enjoy it. All right, it won't disappoint. For more information on Immersive Van Gogh, just head to our website, salive.com where we've provided a link, or you can just click on that QR code on your screen. Thank you so much, Nick. Thank you. The secrets in the pie crust. We get tips today from a local baker, and we may even sample some delicious pies. And next, letting their inner rock star shine. How this music program is changing the lives of local girls in the free event this weekend with music, food, and fun. The details are coming up. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, does the young lady in your life have a light inside of her? There's a local program that wants to help make it shine and they do it through music. 
Tiffany Farias Sokolowski, founder and executive director of SA Girls Rock, is here to tell us about how they're turning San Antonio girls into stars and the big event they're happening this weekend. Welcome, welcome. welcome. Thank you, thank you. All right, so what is SA Girls Rock? Um, SA Girls Rock is a 501c3 nonprofit, and um, we teach and uphold the belief that girls are capable of leading and creating whatever they set their mind to. Why did you get this program started? Um, well, believe it or not, we are the only organization here in San Antonio that is uh, music focused and centers around girls. So does anybody need previous music experience? No. Okay. Previous music experience is not required. Um, what is required is that they want to learn an instrument and that they want to be in a band, then come on in. So is that what they learn? They, just how to be part of a band and how to play? Yeah, exactly. That's pretty much it. Some Sometimes they're um, in a band where they know the girls and sometimes they're meeting them for the very first mm -hmm. time. And at the end, it culminates in a showcase where they get to perform within their band. And, so, and some of those things they learn even kind of life lessons to take on beyond their music career. But oh, speaking absolutely. of music, you've got a big event coming up this weekend, right? Yes, on Sunday at the Starlighter. It's 1910 Fredericksburg Road. <laughs> and okay. it's free, family friendly. There will be vendors, um, music will be from four to seven, and I hope to see everyone there. All right, there's the information up on the screen. Don't miss the SA Girls Rock Spring Showcase this Sunday, June 5th at the Starlighter. Again, music from four to seven. It's free, family friendly, food and vendors. And now, here's SA Girls Rock alumni, Madison Island with a special performance. Again, don't miss the SA Girls Rock Spring Showcase. And if you'd like more information about how to sign up or summer opportunities, go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. And there is a link that you can follow. All right, still ahead on SA Live. It's Friday, and that means an SA Live viewer is about to win big. See what happens when they spin the KSAT Insider Prize Wheel and how you can be the next big winner. It's super easy, and you don't even have to leave your home. And next. Feast your pies on this. With so many choices, you won't be able to pick just one. We check out a few of the more than 40 flavors from a local pie maker and what makes hers so good. You don't want to miss this. A live one bite and you're transported back to grandma's kitchen a local woman is putting generations of baking into her homemade pies and coming out with the little magic tiffany hendrick owner of tiffany's pie company is here with us today and you really are making art out of pies right welcome i am thank you so much um i really do like the aesthetic of the decorating with the little colorful decoration so pretty um, Yes, and, and pies can be so nostalgic, right? When take you back, and yes. um, I see you have that theme kind of going here, right? Tell yes. me about that. <laughs> that is definitely my theme. That's my objective, is to bring people back to a simpler time, um, 
with homemade goodness in Grandma's Kitchen. Mm -hmm. I love that. Well, everything looks delicious, but you have to tell me how you make your crust, because I know that's the key to a delicious pie, right? Yes, um, my crust is a combination of about three different recipes that I have gathered together. Um, I, I make it so that it's nice and flaky, but it's also hearty to hold up to the filling. Uh, mm -hmm. I make it so that it's good for the sweet, but also for the savory. I do pot pies, and it's my objective to eventually get into a restaurant selling pot pies as well. So the crust is good for either. So sweet and savory. Oh, I'm excited about the pot pies as well, but these look amazing. So tell me about what you brought here today. Well, today I have my um, salted caramel apple pie there on the end, mm -hmm. and then I have my little three inch um, southern pecan pies. Those it's, are so cute. <laughs> it's southern pecan um, because it's more molasses. It's got more of a caramelly filling okay. under the nut. <laughs> Mm. And then here we have my six inch uh, Dutch apple. So I have the three different pie sizes that I offer, the three inch, the six inch, and the nine inch. And then over here on this, we have the peach raspberry. Peach I, raspberry? Ooh, uh -huh. sorry, that sounds amazing. Okay. <laughs> it's sweet and tart, it's good, mm. yeah. And so then I have my Samoa's cookie pie. That's your combination of the chocolate, coconut, and caramel. Yum. Um, I have my black and blue pie, which is blackberry, blueberry. My um, mixed nut turtle pie. So that's got the nut and the caramel and the chocolate. And the turtles. Yep, and the turtles. <laughs> and then over here I have my cherry pie and then the banana bread pie. So mm. I don't do just classic right. traditional you pies. Right, twist on those. Yeah, I have cookie pies and I have what I call cake pies, which which can be like your simple breads or um, I have a brownie pie and so. All kinds of pies. <laughs> so I'm gonna taste this and while I do that, can you talk about these these tools you brought here? Yes, I have mm. a couple things that I use. Um, this is a time saver and it's amazing. I love mm. it so much. When you roll out your dough, uh, you simply just put it to the size that you want for your crust and you just zip it around oh, and so it simple. cuts the dough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and it helps you to uh, plate the dough for easier Mm -hmm. And then I have this little guy here that I use for my three inch pies. If you'll notice on the edge of the three inch pies, it's kind of folded over and decorated a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I use a muffin pan for those. Okay. So after I cut it out, then I kind of fold it a bit. It makes it so that it's a little more sturdy to hold up to the filling as well. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, well how can people get a hold of you if they'd like to place their orders? I am an online store for now. Uh, you can visit my website www.tiffaniespiecompany.com. Mm -hmm. uh, once you place your order then I get in touch with you and we make arrangements for the pickup time and day. I don't do delivery or shipping yet. Okay. But um, it's pickup only at this time. Um, we're located over near Petranco in 1604. Okay. But I am also also on Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. So all, right. all the social media platforms. Yeah. You won't be disappointed. I'm gonna take another bite. Please head over to essaylive.com. Click the as seen on Essay Live tab if you'd like more information, or scan the QR code on your screen. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're gonna join me. Take a oh, yes. pie. Totally, yeah. definitely. <laughs> Next on SA Live, it's your chance to win an amazing prize and be on TV. We're about to spin the KSAT Insider prize wheel, see what's up for grabs, and how you can be the next big winner. One lucky KSAT Insider is going to walk away with $250 to $1,000 in gift cards to living spaces today. We're getting ready to spin the KSAT Insider prize wheel, but first, let's meet today's winner. It is Patrick Rabel from San Antonio. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. So you are definitely a longtime viewer. How long have you been watching KSAT? 30 years, Mike. That's a long time. Way, how many set changes have you seen around here, I think? Oh, More God. than we have. <laughs> okay. And I have to point out, your wife painted the pictures behind you? Yes, sir. Those are absolutely beautiful. Hats off to her, congratulations. And you did win a prize on KSAT one time way back when, right? Yes, uh, before the day of coffee. I remember, <laughs> remember it well, so, all right. And uh, retired now, doing a lot of fishing, right? Yes, sir. Okay, <laughs> which of these would you like to win? 250 or 500 or 1,000? Silly question. 1,000. 1,000, okay. <laughs> Let's go for it. You've got a couple of chances here on the wheel. Give me a countdown. One, two, three, spin it. <laughs> and once again, we have got eight chances at winning $250. Two of them are 500. Two of them are 1,000. 
and it is to Living Spaces. Come on, 1,000. Uh, ah, that was so close. $250. Congratulations. Right, Thank you. Thank you. We'll take it. Congratulations on your big win, Patrick Rabel, for watching SA Live and Living Spaces, this month's prize wheel sponsor. We are going to be spinning the KSAT Insider prize wheel for a new winner every week, and you could be next, but you have to be a KSAT Insider. For details on how to enter, visit the website, ksat.com slash insider. Thank you once again, Patrick, and congratulations. Nice chatting with you. <laughs>